Hey guys, it's Mark from OnLive Portal, and we're taking a look at the new April 2011 update for the OnLive client, uh, version lots and lots of digits. Um, so uh, you might see me moving around here a lot, and that's because uh, these controls are actually different, the, the way that they move, so it's, it's kind of weird for me to get used to. But the first thing we're going to notice is that um, you can see in this game, it tells me how long I've been playing this game. It says zero minutes, because it's only tracking from... Uh, from April 13th. That's the only time it, when it tracks. So we take a look at the achievements tab. We can see all the achievements that are available. Um, these are the achievements that I've accomplished already. And then if we scroll down some more, scroll down some more. Now, um, sorry, just picking the description for some of these. Um, you'll see that they're actually locked, and uh, that will basically show you the achievements that you need to accomplish and they're faded out as well. Um, also to the right you're going to notice that they all have these these digits, these values, uh, so it's not just a matter of getting the achievements but they have like different values to them. Um, so I guess one shows you how important it is. Um, that like. Uh, And uh, so here, they, these don't come with any images, but they do come with an unlock icon showing that you've unlocked the achievement. And um, so we're going to go through this whole list. It shows you the date and time that you've accomplished them, um, which is a neat feature that you don't see in an, uh, some other platforms that have achievements. They have uh, all these, you know, with the points and the date and time of uh, achieving it. at least in the uh, PC. And um, there's a little shortcut here to the marketplace, which it, it's cool. I, I actually like that because um, even if it's a game I already own, sometimes I still want to go back in there to take a look at the trailers. Um, so it's neat to have a little shortcut there. And there's also a tab for achievements for games that are compatible with achievements. And, and I guess that's just because if that affects your buying decision or not, I don't know. Um, but you're able to take a look at that. And then they have, uh, if you go to your profile, you can see your playtime for all games total, not just one individual game, um, which is something I've always been interested in for other platforms. Whenever it's, I've always wondered, like, how long have I actually been playing any game? Not just one particular game, any game. We're going to go to the new overlay. And I also have a message somebody sent me already where you can message somebody a brag clip. Um, so here's a brag clip. Uh, Tom Clancy Splinter Cell. Um, yeah, okay. No, no questioning any sexuality at all here. We're gonna go take a look at the other Brad clip. What is the other one? Oh, way to stick your neck out, huh? Um, but yeah, I mean, the overall story of that game is great. So uh, that's receiving a bread clip. What about uh, how do you, so how do you send it? Um, you don't have to just send your own. You can actually sit, share other people's uh, bread clips. So we're gonna go to the share option. There's a new share button over there, and you can now message somebody a bread clip. And let me message Admitty or uh, I, I don't. I've never figured out how to properly pronounce his name. Uh, sharing a bread clip. Since it is a new feature on OnLive, I'd like to try out. Here we go. So sending him that brag clip. And so um, you, you can send the brag clips with messages. Um, Gamer14 just opted not to do that when he sent me a brag clip. And we're going to try another one here. Um, one of the other neat things, too, is that they have threads. And you'll see exactly what that looks like in a moment. Uh, when I go to the overlay again, let me first find the bracket I want to send. Here we go. Spider Thornton. This is Michael Thornton being a Spider-Man guy. <laughs> so I thought it was pretty cool. Uh. 
And so I'm going to share that with... Oh, who's online? These little buttons that are red and green now tell you who's on, on, offline and who's online, um, which is a neat feature they have. Okay, and Michael Thornton is the new Spider-Man. If I can type that right, there we go. New Spider-Man. And you see when it's sent, it shows the message I sent. So now they have threads where you can see messages you sent as well as received, um, which is which is neat that they have a th the thread system there. Um, though replying to messages, your reply section will be kind of small. So now when you add friends, you can actually add them uh, and, and send a message along with it. And then also you can add a bunch of Gmail friends too. So you can actually like connect your Gmail account and add a, and search for your contacts and who you want to invite to OnLive even if they don't have OnLive. Um, also you can add it from within the add them within the overlay which is one of the biggest issues with OnLive in the past so there's a shortcut just to add friends from the overlay while you're in game. So uh, that's a look at the April 2011 update for OnLive and uh, it looks pretty good. Um, just, uh, I don't know, with the exception of that threads, that threads section might want to be a little bit smaller when you're replying to a thread. Um, don't forget to check us out at onliveportal.com and onlive itself at onlive.com. Thanks for watching.